While attending high school, I participated in all sports. Upon entering my first year in college, I decided to drop the sports and concentrate solely on my academics. But studying only took up so much time, leaving me with a lot of free time to waste. At this time, a new neighborhood gym opened up, and I decided to give it a try. After six months of training, I entered my first contest and received second place. That's when I decided bodybuilding was for me. What I dislike most about the sport of bodybuilding is when we enter our pre-contest diet phase. Most bodybuilders tend to take out their anger on family and friends. What I do before I even, even consider entering a contest is ask myself two questions. What am I going to benefit from the contest? And who is it going to affect? The answer to both of these questions is me. I love to train. When I say the word training, I mean not only lifting weights, but any type of cardiovascular conditioning, such as football, aerobics, jogging, basketball. I look at it this way. What good are all those muscles if you can only do one thing with them? If I was to never compete again, I would still train. I believe bodybuilding has a very positive impact on others. Society has tended to place a negative stereotype on bodybuilders as being muscled up idiots, and I'm proof that this is not true. Presently, I'm a sheriff's department deputy and plan on going back to school receiving my degree in criminal justice. While doing this, I intend to continue training and become a world-class bodybuilder. You just met him personally. Now we're going to watch him work. John Sherman is 176 pounds on a 5'4 frame. He's out of Houston, Texas. I I'm immediately attracted to the legs. What? You know what I mean. <laughs> Those are thick They legs. are. But you know what? One of the reasons why his legs look so thick, they're not any thicker than um, the other athletes, but his waist is so darn small that it makes his legs look huge. So you have to look at the joints, the joint sizes, and that's what makes a bodybuilder a fantastic bodybuilder, something that really stands out are these small waist, small joints, small wrists, small ankles. That's what really makes them look great. Small except big in accomplishments, right? Mm -hmm. He won the uh, lightweight title in Texas last year. He was also the teen title holder in Texas two years ago. Right, and last year's contest that he won was a drug-tested contest. This contest in particular is not. Some are drug tested and some are not. In fact, I'll tell you what, before the broadcast ends, I want to ask you why some are drug tested while others are not. But right now, we are enjoying John Sherman, who was first in pre-judging. So the, the judges admired those legs and that upper body just as much as we are. Oh, he's beautiful. He's really put together well. He's nice and thick, but yet highly defined. He looks healthy, he's not dehydrated. John Sherman leaving the stage. We will leave you for just a moment, but we'll be back with the light heavyweights from Raleigh, North Carolina, right after this. <laughs>